What is up guys, Logan here again. Thank you guys for all the support. Hit that like button real quick right before we jump in. Just to start this video off, great. The Discord's almost at 300 members. Like that is just something that is blowing my mind because I've always wanted to have a channel that has an amazing community behind it. Instead of just putting out videos and just putting out videos and all that, like just having a community like this. 743 subs as we're talking right now. It's probably gonna be even crazier by the time this is uploaded. I just wanna say thank you guys completely from the bottom of my heart across the board. Check out the Robinhood links, the Weeble links, the Logan Lage link as well for that CBD discount. So check that out. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop into this video. I wanna to talk to you guys about my plays that are going on right now, my thoughts for the market for the rest of the week, and this has been another crazy earnings week. So let's hop into my first play. This one is a big loss right now because you guys know I share my wins and losses with you guys. So I just wanna be transparent across the board. $110 call, so I wanted to play Chegg's earnings and I'm down 76% right now. This morning it was like 88% when it opened. And it's, it's kind of funny because they opened at 28 and rose all the way to a dollar. You could have quadrupled your money if you bought and then sold then, but who knew what was gonna happen? I mean, the Greeks were still settling because there's so many bid and ask price going on. The IV got crushed, so that's what ended up happening. So the IV got crushed and it went from being 110% last night to now it's sitting at 83%. That the volume on these contracts is insane. The high for today was 142. It closed yesterday at 270. You guys can see I paid 250 right here, down 190 bucks. But I'm not upset and I'm gonna hold this because I see earnings continuation has been happening with all these other stocks like AMD and any stock that's just popping and continues to run after earnings. So I'm holding this. I'm gonna check it out on Friday and kind of reposition myself because I played it small, 250 bucks. I mean, it's not the end of the world. So I'm down 190 if I was to sell it, you know, today at close or we'll see what it looks like in the morning. But that's kind of my whole goal with Chegg. You know, earnings are always a 50-50 call. It's almost like throw it on black, you know, or throw it on red. So I was, you know, you saw Apple a 500% return in a day. Earnings like that, like I really expected Chegg to take off to where I could have sold this today for a 100% return. But instead we got the other side of the coin, which is totally fine because that's earnings, it's part of it. I mean, they're sitting at 85 right now. I could see Chegg pushing, you know, to like a dollar. I'm really just hoping I don't lose more than 150 on this. And if I do, you know, I'll just make it right back with another trade. We traded Clorox yesterday and made a quick 50 bucks. So I can just dock it from that. And then also Berkshire Hathaway, I finally sold out today. I'll get right into that in a little bit too. Here's our other play for the day. Now this is a JMIA call and their share price right now is 16.20. I have two contracts. I averaged my cost down to 193 and I bought it 250 right here when right here at 1140. I thought they had found their support right here at 205 and they ran to 250 and I was like, I got to get in before this thing shoots back off to 310 and I did and then it started to fall and Towards the end of the day, it got down to 130, and that's when I hopped in. If we scroll down, 135 is when I hopped in. Average my cost. I really like the delta on these guys. I mean, every dollar it moves is 35 cents on the contract. The implied volatility is huge right now because the stock's being traded like crazy. But look at over here, if we scroll up, 10.30 a.m., JMIA was $5.30, and now it's down to 150. I mean, even if it got back there, that's when they were 23 a share. But even if they lift it off back to 20 a share, I mean, this is gonna be 365. I'll be in the range of doubling my money if JMA runs. And if we look at their actual like stock right now, to where this morning is when we had the big sellers come out, there's 11 million shares shorted this morning and this hour. So that's what caused the stock to fall $4 in an hour. But even if we look at this, just this traction it had from on August 3rd and drove up this high. I mean, it, it's just awesome. And there's a lot of people with different opinions, but I'm really liking these guys long-term. I think this is a great position to be into short-term right now. 
It, it was traded 57 million times today. So the volume is four times what it normally is. And then there's also their earnings which come out. So I'm really interested to see what these guys do, but I also played this small, you know, 385 bucks into it total. Anything for me small is if I'm playing it under 500, and then anything I'm playing big is if I'm playing over 1,000. So I play medium sometimes where I'll make a $700 play or a 750, you know, but if I'm playing big, it's an over 1,000. If I'm playing small, I'm playing with under 500 bucks because I know if I lose 20% of 500, like it is right here, 20%, you know, it's 85 bucks, I can make that back. I'm really excited to see how they open tomorrow. I love the Delta. I love the amount of volume that there is in this stock. So I will keep you guys updated, but it's Tuesday right now, filming this, hoping to have the video up Thursday. So we'll get to know by then how my trades have gone. Spy had a great day today. It was really interesting. There was a sell off around 2.30, I mean super normal, and then Power Hour took over and lifted Spy fourth of a percent. So I was really impressed by that. I mean, SPY hitting 330, I expected that this weekend, but I didn't think it was gonna happen till Wednesday, you know, tomorrow, or I was really excited to hear about the stimulus talks and, you know, I really haven't done research on what happened today. I was busy most of the day, so that's why I didn't really trade today. But SPY's just been really impressive, and I'm thinking about getting into some long-term SPY calls. Because if we look at, the, this run up and this recovery, you could hop into like a 2021 SPY 350 call, something like that. And I think you'd be in a really good position to double your money that way and not have to worry because you know SPY is not gonna tank $10 on you in one day. I don't think they've ever even done that. Maybe they have. I could be completely wrong. So it's been really cool to watch them and the road to recovery and everything like that. Like I'm just really seeing SPY continue to take off. Haven't made a play on them this week, but I really want to. You guys knew I was holding the Berkshire Hathaway calls. Well, today I was up 52% on them, so I decided to sell all five contracts. So here's the first one that filled. I filled this earlier in the morning to buy my first JMIA call. So 234 out of that one. And then this call right here, I sold the other three contracts at 120 for 360. My average costs on these were 77 cents. So I just was super excited with the outcome on these sales. And then the other ones I sold at 117. So really excited. I also moved more of that, but I'm also sitting now in like $250 worth of cash just to sit and play with. So I'm really excited to see what I can do with that for the rest of the week. So I'm just not trying to add money right now. I wanna see if I can just continue to recycle and reuse my trades and just create like a money machine without having to deposit so much cash right now. But in the future, if I have to, I'm not totally against it or anything. Let's hop into AT&T right now. I know we talked about options for most of the day. I wanna give you guys my recap, but something I'm excited about today my AT&T dividends reinvested. So I had 121 shares. I was able to buy almost two shares just with my $56 reinvesting. So I'm almost at 123 shares now. Down 8% all time because I was buying them, now that they're 30 a share, I was buying them up when they were 39 a share before the market crashed. Because you know, in January, I thought everything was just gonna keep going and then the virus hit. So it was just really interesting to see but there's still you know, a big chunk of my value, almost $3,700. I wanna throw another 1,000 at them within the next couple of months, maybe even two grand, depends on how well the trades go. And then they'll be able to take over my phone bill. Anytime at and is under $30, it's a great time to pick them up, in my opinion. With 5G, with them being such a big company, and that dividend yield of 7% a year, it's really hard to beat something that just moves this flat. If we look at like the last month, 30, down to 29, you know, 29 here, 30. And that's over a whole month. Like it stayed in like a dollar range. So it's just really interesting to think about because at and is just a great stock for just hanging out. So it's a great time to get in. You can get in cheaper. They're keeping their dividend. And it's great, you know, just that income for not having to do anything and getting paid. But that's gonna be it for this video. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I wanna give you guys a quick book recommendation too. I'm listening to The Lean Startup right now. It's an audiobook. It's just about, you know, when you start a business, how you can capitalize and just push your product out there and create something that's super awesome for people. So I'm gonna give you guys that as a recommendation.
recommendation to read if you have free credits or whatever, and it's worth your time to listen to. It's an eight hour audio book, but I just wanna throw that in there really quick. I appreciate all the support, the Great Lakes Wellness support, the YouTube support's just off the chain, as I've stated before. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on this video. Stay updated in the Discord. And I'm gonna go live pretty soon on one of my you know, YouTube days to where we just sit, we'll talk about stocks, you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I'll just sit there in front of the camera, smile and wave, and then kind of give you guys my take on it. And I'm still learning every day, it's just crazy. I'm 20 years old and you guys listen to me as if I'm like a 60 year old financial wizard. So, I don't know, it's just, it's a blast for me honestly. And I love that, I think that's amazing. But, you know, I just try to give my best sort of knowledge forward. I give the best knowledge that I can or that I have. And you guys even come to me with stocks. And it, it's really cool to see, you know, other people showing me things that I've never learned before. Because I'm just trying to learn. That's what I'm here to do. So thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.